Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today's April 10th, 2024. And I want to share this information with you about the Devil's Comet, which they're now calling the Mother of Dragons. And it's perihelion event on April 21st, which is the 14th of Nisan Passover. So let's take a look at this information that from the book of Revelation chapter 12, we have two signs in the heavens. Two signs in the heavens, Revelation chapter 12. It says, There appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, she being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. The first sign, the Revelation 12, 1 and 2 sign, happened on September 23, 2017, where the planet Jupiter was within the womb area of Virgo, for 10 months and then on the feast of trumpets there was a planetary alignment with the sun at the head of virgo the moon under her feet and there were three planets in the constellation of leo plus all the stars of leo and so there was a a crown of 12 stars that were formed and Jupiter was coming out of the womb of uh, Virgo at this time and so uh, fulfilling the birth process Jupiter was revealed as the child okay Re Jupiter was revealed as the child through the first sign of revelation chapter 12 so so we have to have this information about jupiter to understand the second sign okay jupiter is the child this was proven to us through the revelation 12 sign 10 months uh, in the womb of the virgin virgo then there appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And so now we have a comet that, first of all, they were calling the devil comet. And they, they're still calling it the Devil Comet, but they're also now calling it the Mother of Dragons. Okay, the Mother of Dragons Comet. Now, part of this has to do with the fact that it, it was growing horns. They called it the Devil's Comet because when one of the outbursts showed that it was like growing horns. And now they're calling it the Mother of Dragons. So we have a dragon with horns uh, in the heavens. And, and so the, the sign talks about a dragon with horns, okay? And then it says the dragon is wanting to devour the child as soon as the child is being born. So this is a secondary sign to the first sign. The first sign revealed to us that Jupiter was the, was the man-child. And then we have to wait for a second sign where a dragon is wanting to devour the child. Okay, so the interesting thing about this situation is that this, this comet, Pons Brooks, which in and of itself, when you look at ponds, meaning bridge, ponds, if you look up ponds, it means bridge, and brooks is water, so water under the bridge, or what do you call, what do you call a bridge? You call it a 
pass over or an over pass. Okay. And so in and of itself, this comet may have coded within it uh, the meaning of Passover. Well, this comet on April 21st is closest to the sun, which is the perihelion event. Comet Ponsbrook visits the inner solar system every 71 years. Its next perihelion will be on April 21st, 2024. So this is the day in question for this comet. This is the important day for this comet. It's closest to the sun on this day. And it's closest to Jupiter on this day. Okay. It's closest to Jupiter and it's closest to the sun. This is the day in question on the Hebrew calendar. This is Passover. April 21st. Okay. So they're calling this comet the Mother of Dragons. There appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and, it, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. So the dragon is wanting to devour the child, Jupiter, on its perihelion event closest to the sun and this constellation here, the beast from the sea, may be also representative of the power of the Antichrist. This is giving power to the dragon, the beast from the sea. The dragon is giving power to the beast from the sea. There's just a lot of biblical scenarios within this picture and so this is a this is april 21st is this the second sign of revelation chapter 12 okay we've got the dragon we've got the horns we've got the we've got the child we've got the specific day we've got passover passover may be encoded within the name of the comet ponds brooks over pass, pass over, a bridge over water, a pass over. Okay. All right, guys. Are you ready for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? The signs are all around us. I pray you are blessed and I pray you are ready. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.